so good evening today we are going to learn about integral nth of cos to the power of nx dx so that d by dx of cos x is equal to minus sin x and integral of cos x dx is equal to sin x plus c now i n is equal to integral of cos to the power of nx dx that implies integral of cos to the power of n minus x into cos x dx now we are going to apply integration by parts therefore cos to the power of n minus x integral of cos x into dx minus integral of cos to the power of n minus 1 x derivative integral of cos x dx the whole is with integral dx now cos to the power of n minus 1 x into integral of cos x is equals to sin x you need to write that one minus integral here you need to apply x to the power of n formula that is n x to the power of n minus 1 that is minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 into d by dx of cos x is equals to minus sin x integral of sin cos x is equals to sin x into dx right now sin x into cos to the power of n minus 1 x minus this n minus 1 is taken out of the integral then you are having cos to the power of n minus 2 x minus sin square x into dx but you are having the formula sin to the power of x is equals to 1 minus cos square x sin square x is equals to 1 minus cos square x sorry therefore sin x cos to the power of n minus 1 x minus this minus sign comes to our side becomes as a plus therefore n minus 1 integral of cos to the power of n minus 2 x instead of sin square x we will write as 1 minus cos square x into dx sin x cos to the power of n minus 1 x plus n minus 1 integral go for the simplification cos to the power of n minus 2 x minus cos to the power of n minus 2 x into cos square x into dx therefore here you are having this sin x cos to the power of n minus 1 x plus n minus 1 integral cos to the power of n minus 2 x minus cos to the power of n x and whole is dx sin x cos to the power of n minus 1 x separate the integral then n minus 1 integral of cos to the power of n minus 2x into dx minus n minus 1 integral cos to the power of nx dx is it okay therefore here you are having i n is equals to sin x cos to the power of n minus 1x plus n minus 1 this is written as n minus 2 minus n minus 1 this is written as i n this minus when comes to the side then it becomes as a plus n minus 1 i n plus this i n is equals to sin x cos to the power of n minus 1 x plus n minus 1 i n minus 2 therefore by taking i n as a common here you are having n minus 1 plus 1 
is equal to sin x cos to the power of n minus 1x plus n minus 1 i n minus 2. These two will be cancelled. n i n is equal to sin x cos to the power of n minus 1x plus n minus 1 i n minus 2. I n is equal to sin x cos to the power of n minus 1 x plus n minus 1 i n minus 2 whole by n. Therefore, integral of cos to the power of n x dx is equal to sin x cos to the power of n minus 1 x by n plus n minus 1 by n i n minus 2. Let's complete some.